Hello, Doris. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Okay. Tell me, and everything was okay today? Mm, yes. In the work, um, uh, a little bit work hard. <laughs> So today only a little bit, huh? Not not too difficult. Not much. And what did you do? What was your what what happened today? You had meetings. You had to send emails. What? And um, I sent emails. I realized a cold. Um. Reportes, what do you say? I I made I made calls and I wrote reports. Okay. Um only that, but all uh, all day in this activity. A little boring, right? Mm, yes. <laughs> and what is your plan? Now uh, you say I know I want to go home. Have dinner, or do you have dinner after class? No, I eat dinner before class. <laughs> no one <aguantaría. laughs> <laughs> yeah, if not, if not, this too much, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and also I am little sick. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a headache. Headache. Mm. Maybe COVID. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. Do you have a fever? No. No, no fever. No. Only the In headache. this moment, no. <laughs> ah, okay. Maybe only the headache. Yeah. Okay, okay. So. You have to be careful. Make sure everything is okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Luis, how about you? How are you? Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, everything okay, teacher. Yeah, the day, good day. Yeah, good day. Uh -huh, excellent day. Um, um, uh, all day I have uh, I I have uh, been working a lot. I have been working uh, all day. I I came to San Salvador maybe one hour ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where were you, Luis? Here in Main Street, uh, La Bernal. And the yes. finish when in the end of the Bernal okay. between Cayal Volcan, Cayal Volcan, and Cayal Calle Bernal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here in San Salvador. And how's the traffic? Yes, it, there there are a lot of traffic because um, near that uh, this community there are uh, Walmart. Um, uh, how that street connect with Soyapango and a half, uh, yeah, you know, San Martin. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's a new way that all drivers uh, take 
this street. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I know which one you mean now. Okay. Mm -hmm. A little busy in that area, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, it's a, a lot of a lot of busy. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Well, I'm glad to see that many are back and we are ready. And we're going to go ahead and continue before we get uh, started. Similar to the way that I was asking Luis, the way that I was asking Doris, take a moment, only three, four minutes, and talk to your partners about your day and try to catch up a little bit and use normal vocabulary. Okay? Okay. All right. Hello, in this class, we'll go over mixed conditionals. Stay and listen to the explanation. Mixed conditionals. Use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. If we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Conditional sentences are made up of if clauses and result clauses. In mixed conditional sentences, past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as, if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford a new... All right, Marvin, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm Hello. fine, thank you. Good, good. Let me put you in the group. There you go. Ivania, all right. New car now. If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Let's take a look at these examples. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, she would be on the plane right now. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. Read the sentences again. Are the if clauses past, present, or future? Very good. They are in past. Are the result clauses past? Present or future? Perfect. 
they are in the present. Take note that in a mixed condition, Okay, guys, that's good. You had a chance to talk. Now we're going to be looking at today's objective. Miguel, can you read the objective? By the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use mixed conditionals. Correct. Do you remember what are conditionals? And if. Yeah, that's right. Is the cause and the effect. If something happens, the other happens. Today, we're going to look at mixed conditional. This means for different times, and we're going to mix them together. Hello, in this class, we'll go over mixed conditionals. Stay and listen to the explanation. Mixed conditionals. Use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. If we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Conditional sentences are made up of if clauses and result clauses. In mixed conditional sentences, Past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as, if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford a new car now. If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Let's take a look at these examples. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, she would be on the plane right now. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. Read the sentences again. Are the if clauses past, present, or future? Very good. They are in past. Are the result clauses past, present, or future? Perfect. They are in the present. Take note that in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event or situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result of the event or situation. Have you ever had problems on vacation? Tell your partner and don't forget to share with us. Try using mixed conditionals. Okay, so what is the important part about mixed conditionals? The idea is that we are using different times to show cause and effect. Usually it's going to be something in the past and an effect now. So for example, imagine you didn't do exercise, right? In the, in the pandemic, okay? I didn't do exercise. So now what is the effect? The effect now is that I am not healthy. This is the mixed conditional. If I had done exercises, in the pandemic, I would be healthier now. It's okay, the idea? A little bit? Yes, good. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, teacher. teacher. Okay, so that's what we wanna try. Remember, what is the difference? Well, the difference is that in first is only about the things that are real in the first conditional. In second conditional is our imagination. In third conditional is the ideas are in the past. And a mixed conditional is we can use things in the past with the present, with the idea for the future. These are the mixed conditional. So, so? All right, so we're gonna have a couple exercises. I'm gonna put them into the chat. 
and we're going to try to practice with your partner. So the first one is the link. Okay. And here is the second link. Okay. So with our partners, we're going to open up those links and we want to practice a little bit about mixed conditionals, the different forms. Okay. Okay. All right. Hang on. Let me give you some time. There.
Okay, any questions? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Luis? No, I don't have a question, oh, uh, okay. teacher, okay. because I, with Mirna, we were working with the uh, second link. Oh, okay, okay, uh, good. Uh, so we have the idea don't... how to make it. Uh -huh, yes, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. we don't have a, a problem with the answer. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try, now that we have a better understanding, we're going to try 4.6 in the platform. So 4.6, you only have to put the verb in the correct form. Do not copy the entire thing. Do not write the entire sentence. So as an example, if I more adventurous when I was younger, what can we put? If I, how can we make with the verb be? Have been. Okay. And that's it. All you're going to do is put the phrase or the correct form and that's it. And the same for one through 10. Okay. Yes? Yes. All right, let's go for it.
Okay. Let's take a look, see how we did. Ready? So number one we know was had been, right? What about number two? Couldn't have. Couldn't have, okay. Wouldn't, wouldn't have. Ah, wouldn't have, Would. okay. Okay. Number three. Have brought. Good. Number four. And I have problem with the number four because for me it's good and chop, but it's not a correct. Anybody else? It's wouldn't be shopping, but we don't know how why. Because it's in it's now. Because it's now. Yes, I wouldn't be shopping. Be shopping because it's in this moment. But why be teacher? I I don't understand the I don't know, I, the structure. Why be with shop with the bird shop? The same in Spanish. Always the verb be with shop. The structure is not for the mixed conditional, right? Yes, yes, yes. I wouldn't be shopping is for in this moment. So really? Uh-huh. So but when you take, when you uh, say I go shopping is for the future. Or I I am shopping. It's, it's in the correct. moment. Correct. The correct. I am shopping. Okay. In the moment, exactly. So you see, you use the verb to be. I am shopping. So if you use the model wouldn't, you would use the verb to be. No, I wouldn't shopping. Okay. It's like, for example, when you say cooking, you don't say I wouldn't cooking. You say I wouldn't be cooking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you you are doing the actions. So to make it easier to understand, think of it like this. Here, the airline lost my luggage. If I had brought a change of clothes in my carry-on bag, I wouldn't be shopping for new clothes now. You don't do this action if before you had brought the change of clothes. Is that okay? Yeah. I don't understand because it's, the, it's different to the other structure because you use only only good with the very infinity for. Ah yes, because in the other is not is not in this moment. This the other ones is the perfect, and this is the continuous. But if close is it is had brought, is not the sentence is not continued to the first if clause. If yes, I right had here. brought, correct. If I had brought, oh. so if you bring the clothes before, if you had brought the clothes in this moment, then you are not shopping, you wouldn't be shopping. But the structure is really different to the number two, for example, that okay. you use good. And you use have the verb in the correct because, correct because this is not now, this is before. Oh you are not you are not having the regrets now. You wouldn't have any regrets because the actions you do before. Oh, okay. Okay. You are confused. A little. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's because in Spanish, you do it naturally. And in English, you are trying to think about it and analyze it. So in Spanish, it's just natural. No tuviera arrepentimientos. I wouldn't have. No, no estuviera teniendo arrepentimientos. You don't use the verb to be. But you say, no estuviera comprando si hubiera tra traído ropa. I wouldn't be shopping. Does that make sense, Roxana? Yeah. 
that yeah sounds like no but it's okay Roxana yeah. <laughs> no confidence to say no it's okay but it's not in a lot of say no okay I continue no problem <laughs> don't worry Roxy it's only for the activities for now that's why what about number five what do we have for number five It's Haddon Bot. Good. Haddon pronunciation bot. Bot. Good. If I hadn't bought an economy class ticket, I. Oops, I put had. Uh huh. If I hadn't bought an economy, an economy class ticket, um, you wouldn't. Uh, uh -huh. I would be. I would be I because would be. in this moment I am not comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I would be more comfortable now if I had bought an economy class ticket. Yeah. But this one doesn't make sense. The flight is so long. If I hadn't bought an economy class ticket, I wouldn't be more comfortable now. It's not, mm -hmm. it's not normal because normally the economy is not comfortable. The economy is very uncomfortable tickets. But we'll check in a moment. What about number seven? Seven. Had learned. Okay. So if you had learned Mandarin, you? Mandarin before moving to type, type, Taipei. Type. Correct, Taipei. You wouldn't be able to ask someone for direction now. Correct. Be able, being able to. Okay, good. What about number nine? If Martha hadn't become okay, a flight attendant, attendant, she probably couldn't travel as much as she does. That's it. Very good. Okay. Here, we'll take a look so you can see. So, had been, wouldn't have, had brought, correct, wouldn't be shopping, hadn't bought, would be, had learned, would be able to, hadn't become, and would travel. So, all of our answers are correct. Any questions? No. No? Okay. So now let's practice a little bit of listening. Here, we're going to listen to people talking about their travel plan problems. Sorry, about their travel problems. We're gonna write down what are probably true or false for each case. Here, we're gonna have Cindy and Scott. We're gonna to listen to Cindy and then to Scott. And we're gonna say, is probably true or probably false? One, Cindy, you'll probably be surprised to hear what I did. I was on a business trip. The flight was a long one. And when I arrived at my destination, I was eager to get my bags and get to my hotel to relax. Well, you know, they always tell you to be careful to get the right bag, but I was in a hurry. You can guess what happened. My black suitcase looked just like every other one, so I picked up someone else's. I didn't realize my mistake until I got to the hotel. Well, I immediately called the airport, and fortunately, it all worked out. I had to go back to the airport, though, to pick up my suitcase and return the other one. And of course... I also had to apologize. If only I'd checked the name tag more carefully. It's funny. This sort of thing almost never happens to me when I travel. Two. 
So number one and number two. Number one, what do you think? Probably false. false. Okay. And number two? Probably true. Okay. Good. Now let's listen to Scott. Scott. This is kind of a funny story. I was in Panama City and had a layover between flights. I'd arrived at about 6 p.m., and my flight out wasn't until about 8.30. Well, my flight was delayed. And delayed. It got really crowded at the departure gate. I was getting tired, and there were so many people around. I hate crowds. So I went to sit away from the departure gate to escape the crowds. I was reading my newspaper and feeling drowsy. I wish I'd slept on the flight to Panama. Anyway, the next thing I know, I wake up, and there's no one around. The crowd is gone. I'd fallen asleep and missed my flight. They must have made lots of announcements, and I missed them all. Boy, did I feel stupid. I had to stay in Panama City overnight and catch a flight out the next morning. What about number three? Probably true. true. Okay. And number four? Probably false. Well, Probably false, yeah. Good. So remember, sleep soundly means sleep without waking up. Sleep very deeply, very comfortably. Okay. Hey, as you can see, we answered all the questions. Yes? Yeah. All right. So now what are we going to do? Well, we're going to talk about travel, specifically about different types. First, we're gonna learn a, a, some vocabulary to talk about well, traveling. Hi, let's make compound adjectives together. Ready? Look at the following chart. Remember, some adverbs can be combined with adjectives to make compound adjectives. Culturally aware, culturally sensitive, non-conforming, non-judgmental, open-hearted, open-minded, self-assured, self-motivated, self-reliant, self-starter. Okay. Any words that you don't know? Assured, teacher, I don't know. Assured. Okay. Self-assured is, I believe in myself. I am confident in myself. This is self-assured. And self starter Self? Star. Star. It's not self-centered. But in this, in this diapositiva says self-centered, but the, the correct is self star Self-starter is a person uh -huh. that begins. Let me listen. Let's check. Let's see what did they say. Self-reliant. Self-starter. Uh, yes. Self-starter. The person that begins the activities by themselves. They don't need other people to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other words? Reliant, teacher. Reliant. Is, reliant is that you do not depend on other people. You only depend on yourself. You are self-reliant. Maybe, for example, uh, you don't live with your mom. You don't live with your dad. You do the things by yourself. This is self-reliant. Independent. 
Is that okay? Okay. Type on our discussion box some sentences about travel using the words we just came up with. Follow my example. All right. So what we're going to do is take a moment and we're going to describe similar about travel. Specifically, we're going to talk about problems that you face or you might face when traveling to another country. What are some things that could happen? How do you solve them? So what are the problems? And what are the solutions for those problems when you travel uh, in El Salvador or to another country even? Okay? So problem and solutions.
<laughs> All right. Let's listen. What are some of the things that you talked about? What are some of the issues that could happen on a traveling or in the trip? Oh, oh, teacher, in my case, when I travel by bus, I have problem with my stomach because I am busy or pussy. Dizzy. Dizzy, dizzy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, yeah, and I ate some apples for that. It's the solution for my stomach. And the apples? Someone oh. said to me about it. Roxana, do you, and tell do me. It helps you, the apples. Yeah, I, it's I a solution heard, for... I never heard the apples. Yeah, someone told me about mm. it and it's good for your stomach because it's... Uh, I don't know why. But what apples? <laughs> it's a solution, but I don't know why. Green. Oh, whatever. Okay, because the green or... I don't know how to say yeah. it. <laughs> but, it's, but it's like a lemon, but it's not the same in your stomach because the apple is better for the digest. It's for your digestion. Digestion. Mm -hmm. Digestion. Yeah. And control your, your stomach. Don't throw out <laughs> your mill <laughs> oh i never heard but okay sounds good all right anybody else problems or solutions for example a uh, teacher uh, we were talking with uh, with with ivani about the quarantine the pandemic situation but the solution we don't have is uh, very uh, difficult that, that the situation, but we can talk about uh, the quarantine. Uh, it was uh, difficult because uh, the, do you remember everybody in, in El Salvador staying in, in the home uh, frequently to work from home too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what happens when the people travel? It, it, if they people when people go to work, what is the problem? For example, in the quarantine, uh, do you remember uh, no one travel? Uh, stay everybody in the, in the house, and the the central government said that say, uh, the central government said uh, who who can who can leave the house. Right, but uh, maybe uh, in the, in the private uh, trans transport transportation there, right? But the quarantine. I, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I remember in the beginning you needed a letter, a special letter for yeah or oh, no, the for number permission. Or two ID. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the the indication of the government that who who the people uh, leave the the house. Uh, with the letter or the last number of ID, the DUI. Ah, uh, yes, also. Uh -huh. That was the other one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So what do you think? When, when people travel, when they go through immigration, when they go through customs, when they go in the airport, what are some of the problems that they face? Imagine you go to the US, you go to Canada, you go to Australia. What are some of the what do you worry about? What do you think maybe is a problem? For, for example, in 2020, uh, do you remember uh, the, 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 the principal, uh, the problem where the, the board are closed, right? For example, here in El Salvador, uh, we have a uh, I don't remember the, the, the name in, in, in English, musicos in, in the United States, a politician in the United States, and a whole family in the United States because all, all were closest, right? 
we don't uh, travel to my uh, the another country from the another country to El Salvador. Okay, okay. I don't remember the musician, but uh huh. The uh, hermano Flor, maybe. Ah, uh, no, Marito Rivera, for example, is the 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 principal mus musician. Uh, he stay in the United States, and uh, when they close the board, uh, he they can travel or they can move to El Salvador. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. One yeah. of the, the the most the problems you can have in the the immigration. What what do you say? Mm -hmm. uh, is uh, to to carry on. In your in, in your carry on bag, mm -hmm. uh, liquids or things that are prohib prohibited, pro prohibited, uh, or food or seeds or things that they don't want to get in. Okay, okay. Well, tomorrow we're going to read a little bit of an article, discuss it, and then do the final exam. Okay. All right, guys, have a good night, and I see you tomorrow for the final exam. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye, good night. Bye. Bye-bye.